Hey everyone, welcome to the last and final day of the reading rush. But today is day seven, which I probably should be more sad about, but I'm honestly really happy because I'm really burnt out. And yeah, I love all the work that goes into this readathon, and I acknowledge all the work that goes into this readathon. And I love this readathon, I've been doing it for three or four years, but it is a lot of work. Like, it is a lot. Um, and I did push myself, so it's my fault, but you know. I'm excited about how much I read in a week, and I just wanna, like, after this, take like a little break and have more like self care time and stuff because I've just been on the internet daily and daily vlogging and daily uploading and doing challenges and yeah so there's that but it was still like a good time this week so so i was recommended are you there god it's me margaret which is this is a middle grade book i think i've talked about it before when i do talk about my childhood books but this was recommended to me by my grade six teacher and she was like my favorite teacher ever um i absolutely like adored her and she was super sweet to me because like i had teachers in the past who were awful to me but she was super sweet to me and she recommended this book to me because she saw i was getting into like reading a ton from the school library and this basically is about this girl around like the same age that i was in and she's like going through all these things like you know um starting to develop crushes on boys and starting to get into puberty and all that stuff so talk about like periods and all that so that was really helpful to me at that time because that's exactly what I was going through. So it's the one book that discussed like kind of wondering like all the questions that you have at that age and then also topics about boys, puberty, adolescence, all that stuff. It was a book recommendation to me that meant a lot and yeah, my cat's coming back over here. But yeah, that's a book recommendation that meant a lot to me. Um, it's by Judy Bloom if you don't know, but yeah, one day I might reread it just for like the nostalgia and to see, I don't know, just all the messages in it that maybe I noticed as a kid but maybe didn't fully pick up and that I pick up now when I'm older. But anyways, yeah, so that was my little story, I guess. And to wrap up all the books that I read. Kitty! Kitty! Oh, he hates being lifted. Okay. I want to wrap up all the books that I read this past week. I did complete all the challenges. The only one that I did not complete was the five star um, one, but I got all the badges <laughs> and yeah, I'm super happy about that. So that's great in, in order. But the two books that I don't own physically that I read first up, I read Genderqueer and this is like a really important graphic novel and it talks a lot about being non-binary and asexual and growing up and trying to figure all that, that stuff out and again i talk about it throughout all these vlogs so i'm not going to be talking about it too much but i really really enjoyed it i gave it four stars i also read mooncakes the graphic novel i received an arc sorry my cat's knocking things over i received an arc from net galley or I just got it off of that galley. I didn't really request it. It was just kind of available. But I really enjoyed this one. This one follows a witch as well as a non-binary werewolf and their like romance and their relationships and it's super magical and whimsical and fun and I really enjoyed the art style. So I ended up giving that one around four stars as well. Physical books that I did read, I did read Black Butler Volume 1. This was a reread for me, but I used this for like the book to movie thing. But this was okay. I talked about it in yesterday's vlog, but I gave this one a 3.5. Then I read Let's Call It a Doomsday by Katie Henry. I was a little bit let down by this one. It took me a while to get into, and then it was also just... I just didn't enjoy the story, and I didn't... I don't know. It just felt really flat, and it was pretty disappointing, but it is interesting in a lot of ways. But yeah, I gave it only like a 2.75, I think, so it wasn't like awful, but it wasn't great. <laughs> read With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. So this is probably my biggest success of the readathon. I buddied, I did buddy read this with Chanel time, but this book got a four. I just put it as a four, but I still haven't written my review, so it's probably gonna be like a 4.5. I adored this, and yeah, I'm super happy about this. This was probably my favorite read. Of, it was my favorite read of the readathon, and I just think it's super important. I'm super happy about this. I enjoyed this more than the Podex, and yeah, I'm gonna be raving about this book for like a bit, so. I read The Prince and the Dressmaker, and this is by Jen Wang. I also really like this one. I gave this one a round of four stars, so like in terms of graphic novels, I was doing great. Um, like in terms of ratings and in terms of ratings in general, I had a really good 
rating week the dressmaker it was really good i really liked the art style and a lot of the messages throughout it and yeah again i don't want to talk about it too much in depth but i ended up giving this one around four stars and i got this one for my library because but i've been like because mm, graphic novels are expensive so up i read uh mira tiebreaker and this is like an aquaman kind of thing it's by dc inc and i buddy read this with my friends brie and alexa so we read this together and it was okay it was enjoyable it was cute in a lot of ways it was super predictable though and but like i liked the art style it was predictable and you know it was interesting i ended up giving it three stars it was just kind of solid Lastly, I listened to the audiobook of City of Ghosts and I finished this one up and this was really good for me. I really enjoyed it. I think I gave it a 3.75 or something. It's a really fun, creepy little middle grade book. And yeah, I was really impressed by the writing style of this one and the little like eerie tone that this had. And yeah, this was super fun and I also enjoyed listening to it on audio. So yeah, those were all the books that I read this week. It is still early in the day. I think it's only 10 a.m. on day seven, but I'm going to be ending this vlog here just because like I'm going to be out tonight and I'm not gonna have a time time to edit all of this and honestly I did the challenge talked about what I read and all that and I'm not gonna be reading much today anyways because I'm gonna be out all day with family just like the previous two days so yeah I it's probably still gonna be longer than yesterday's which was only three minutes but <laughs> um I'm hoping to get this up for you guys as soon as possible and yeah so I'm done reading for the reading rush we done <laughs> I hope you guys had a good reading week if you did participate and yeah I need to catch up on a lot of readathon vlogs but for now I'm going to take a little step back from the internet for a little bit and yeah not like a month break but like you know, like I'll take a few days to just you know yeah thank you guys so so much for watching my vlogs this week and for watching today's video if you enjoyed them please give them a like I would really really appreciate it and yeah let me know what you read this week what your favorite book from this week was mine was with the fire on high and if you had any fun buddy reads as well because i had a few of them you're gonna knock over my camera please stop sir and anyways i will talk to you guys soon with a new video bye